hi guys welcome to simplifying tech and programming so in today's session we are going to check how we can perform mysql crude operations from java jdbc with the illustrated example so for this we are using latest version of mysql that is 8.0.30 then we are using java 18 version eclipse and maven so to work with this uh, so i am using my blog so blog link is provided into video description please check on that so now moving further like uh, if you want to know about how to install mysql and how we can configure the mysql workbench and mysql shell then you can visit my earlier videos so here we need uh, mysql server to be, to be started then we need a workbench to visualize the data and we need shell in order to perform some command line operations okay so in order to perform the crude operations we need a sample database to be created so for that we need to go to shell or command line from windows so go to mysql command line so it will be asked for password so type password okay so it is entered into mysql so now just we need we have to hit this show data basis okay so currently i have this uh, this much databases so we need to create one database in order to perform our mysql operations so create database mysql db semicolon enter okay so query okay one row affected so now my mysql db is created so now let's move further so we need to create java project so go to eclipse and uh, create simple maven project so in eclipse uh, create maven project so create simple maven project say next give name as a mysql java group copy same into artifact ID say finish so we need uh, so we need to add some maven dependency in order to connect with uh, mysql so this is the mysql connector java artifact so just copy this entries into pom.xml go to pom.xml okay so add the entry here save it so this is basically mysql connector java uh, latest version 8.0.30 so this we will need in order to connect mysql so now create one java class we need public static void main so click on that okay so copy this code okay say so control shift o in order to import the packages okay so what we are doing here so we are getting one connection object a connection with the specific database so sql statement are executed and results are written within the context of connection okay so this is the connection object so then we are defining three parameters one is like a url to the url to connect with the mysql so we have our mysql server on localhost and this is the port number and this is the database name that we have created some time back so here this mysql db so we have to give here then uh, username password we have to give here and then we have to create we have to invoke our driver so we are using driver manager so that is the basic service for managing set of jdbc driver dot get connection okay so this get connection for this get connection we need to provide these three parameters okay and then we we will check if that connection is getting success or not so save it and just run it if connection is happening okay so connection is happening and uh, it is connected to database so now moving further so we have to 
start with crude operation so first is like uh, create the table so so we are going to create one table into mysql database from java code so for that first just do control shift f in order to format then we need to paste this so here we are using create operation so what we are doing so this is the sample uh, create statement so we are creating customer uh, table with the some a few parameters of uh, customer table and then we are using statement object so just we need to import this statement object so that is java.sql okay okay so why we need statement object so this is the object uh, which is responsible for executing the static sql statement and returning the result that it produces okay so we need connection object dot create statement and on top of that we are doing statement dot execute above query okay so we are creating one sql statement from connection object and we are executing this create table command so let just save it and just try to run this great so our sql table is also created in mysql database so let's verify it if that table is created so we need to go to mysql workbench okay so this is the mysql workbench you need to go okay so we need to go local instance okay so you can see our mysql db is already created so let's see if table is getting created let's say refresh yeah so our table is also created so if you want to see the structure of table then just here there is one table just click on this table okay so it will automatically fire the select query on this table so we have five fields customer name contact name address city in postal code so that is automatically created into database so now moving further next operation is insert operation so we have created the table now we have to insert the data so for this copy this code so now comment this create okay so now we are doing insert operation so import the prepared statement so we are using prepared statement previously we are using statement now we are using prepared statement so for insert query prepared statement is better so what is prepared statement so it is the pre compiled sql statement which will be executed along with the connection uh, parameter okay so here we, we are creating statement only but it is a pre compiled one and uh, this is the sample query in order to like uh, insert the data from our table in the last so we are doing <coughs> insert like uh, this is the syntax of insert like uh, we need to provide the field names and then we need to provide the uh, values and uh, these values will be in the question mark and uh, for this question mark we are adding the field values here okay so statement dot set string so our only one parameter is integer so that is nothing but our postal code okay so we need to execute this statement by using execute update okay so let's say control shift f save it and try to run it let me minimize it okay so new customer was inserted successfully let's verify it if it is inserted so just we have to execute this command again so this is the great so we can see our data in the table 
so we have customer name like this we have provided okay so let let's insert one more record so say customer name as a tom not tom say customer name as a jack here we can type jack nelson okay so we need address as a manhattan okay and let's see new york okay so we are adding one more uh, <coughs> row into the table yeah so one more row is inserted so let's verify it yeah so we got the two records here so now moving further so we have to perform next operation that is a update so we so we are trying to update the existing data so comment the inside part now okay so what we are doing here so we are updating so this is the sample update command so that we are providing in java string so we are doing update customers this is the table name set city equal to and where customer name equal to this okay so we want to update the city so here for if i tell you so we want to update the city so from stavanger to oslo okay so now uh, where like uh, customer name equal to cardinal cardinal means this row so this row you have to observe for this city so now uh, again we are using prepared statement so it, this is the pre compiled statement and uh, we are using statement dot execute command okay so let's run it yeah so our existing user has updated successfully okay so let's verify it okay so you can see so instead of stavanger so we have oslo city is updated okay so now moving further so one more operation is pending that is like uh, delete statement so copy this comment the update query okay so we will execute the delete statement okay so what we are doing here so we are just uh, writing one delete query so delete from customers where customer name equal to question mark so again we are using prepared statement so in, for this question mark we need to provide the data or field value so i want to delete the customer name uh, with the cardinal value so this one so customer name cardinal so this should be deleted and only jack should be seen okay so we are doing again we are doing statement dot execute update so save it and just try to run this okay so our user is deleted so now let's verify it yeah so our uh, cardinal customer is deleted and only jack is pending so now moving further uh, like uh, we have select statement so this is the fetching of data 
so copy this and uh, go here comment the delete part so this is the select okay so what we are doing so we we have to fetch the data from customer tables all records from the customer table and we have to print it so so we are using statement object so that we already seen that uh, it is the static sql statement which is returning the result that it produces okay so here we are using result set also so just import the statement for the result set so so statement dot execute query sql so we are executing this query of set statement and we are getting this data into result set variable okay so now uh, we want to print it in like a user friendly way so that like uh, we are writing one uh, while loop so we are writing uh, so we are reading the all data from the table so we are printing like a customer name contact name address and city whatever the fields are there into that table so that we have listed here according to its data type also and then to be like uh, to print in readable format so we have added some uh, spaces and we have added one counter also in order to like uh, print all rows and here just we are uh, formatting the data that we are got into result set okay so right save it right click and run it yeah so we got one row so that is present into database so this is the row present in the database so we got this customer as a jack jack b nelson manhattan new york jack b nelson manhattan new york so the same data we got via program also so this is like fetching of data so we have seen like write operation also and read operation also that is fetching of data okay so this way like uh, <coughs> we can able to connect to the mysql database server and uh, by using jdbc connection and we can able to perform create insert update delete and fetching of data operation okay so source code is available on github so you can go to github and download this also source code okay so stay tuned for uh, further sessions and thanks a lot for